Hello number ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. So here we are in the center and the heart of Palermo. So what we're doing today is we're going to talk about two uh, main topics. The first topic is going to be how samurai armor, particularly the mask, whether you can actually use it without a mustache or you have to wear a mustache, or whether it was mandatory, obligatory. The second part that we're going to discuss is something from Yamoto Musashi. He's got something to say about modern video games. Yes, I'm not joking. So stay tuned to know the answer to these two questions. So as you can see, I have shaved, so to speak. So um, why have I taken this off and is this still historically accurate? I've done quite a lot of research about this and how you can, whether you could uh, use it, you know, without the, the moustache. And what I found out is rather interesting. But first of all, I found some 18th century examples of Mempo or Mengu that didn't have the moustache. Uh, but then I thought, well, cool, but my arm is 16th century, so is that a problem of the century of the style? So I, I had a look and actually found um, moustacheless masks belonging to the 16th century, 15th century, 14th century and so forth, even Muromachi period. Not that many, but there are some examples. So then my question was, but considering the fact that a few centuries have passed, is the moustache missing because it has deteriorated considering the organic components of, uh, you know, the actual goat um, fur that it was used to make it? or? Was it actually meant to be that way? So I did some research and I noticed that there was no support to attach the moustache. So basically, um, yes, those were examples of historically accurate samurai masks without the moustache. Last but not least, the most important piece of information I found was about this uh, daimyo who was talking to his um, subordinates, to his samurai, and he was talking about armor, how to order armor, how to have it made properly. And then he said, when you have the smiths make the mempo for you. Um, I suggest to you, it's suggested or it's advised to put a moustache, but you don't need to if you don't want to. Boom! And there goes my moustache immediately. So, this mask is still perfectly historically accurate and you will see me using it from now on without the moustache, which I, and I think it's a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so the Book of Five Rings, so let's see what Miyamoto has to say about video games. So he says, powerful sword blows in other schools, because this is from the Wind Scroll, and the Wind Scroll is the scroll where he talks about other schools of Kenjutsu of the time, okay, and he criticizes them quite a lot. And he says, there should be no such thing as, a strong, as strong sword blows or weak sword blows. Okay, I'll repeat, there should be no such thing as strong sword blows or weak sword blows. A swing of a sword made with the intention to swing powerfully is rough, and you can hardly win by roughness alone. Furthermore, if you slash with unreasonable force when you are going to kill someone intending to deal a powerful blow of the sword, you will not be successful. So what Musashi has to say is that it doesn't make sense to, have to think of a powerful or a strong sword um, blow or a weak one because with a weak one it wouldn't be enough to, to damage someone or to deal a reasonable amount of damage since uh, it, throughout the entire book he only talks about killing, he doesn't talk about wounding. It's an important thing to say. And secondly, if, it, if you swing too powerfully you might lose balance, you might overswing, so there are a lot of other things. And I find this very interesting. Let's continue reading. So, there is no such thing as a particularly powerful sword blow. In my school, no consideration is given to anything unreasonable. The heart of the matter is to use the power of the knowledge of martial arts to gain victory any way you can. This must be worked out thoroughly. When facing an enemy in mortal combat, and I love the expression mortal combat, nobody thinks of striking weakly or powerfully. 
and one only thinks of killing the other, there is no sense of strength. And of course, no sense of weakness, one only thinks of the death of the enemy. If you hit someone else's sword strongly using an extra powerful swing, it will turn out badly because of excessive force. If you hit someone else's sword forcefully, your own sword will be delayed. And going back to what Musashi taught us, I thought it was nice because I know a lot of YouTubers have tackled and have talked about this situation with the light attack and the and the uh, strong attack and how um, it wouldn't make sense from a Hima point of view, from a Kenjutsu point of view, and that's all good. But for my video, I wanted to find someone with actual real combat experience who would mention this. And I found this in this uh, scroll, in the wind scroll of Miyamoto Musashi. And when I read that, I thought to myself, oh, this is perfect. I really need to share it with my uh, community because, of course, uh, he's referring to an actual real combat, not to a game, clearly. But I think it's nice because the same concept can be applied when we want to understand if it would make sense to have a strong attack or a light attack in a combat situation or scenario. Alright noble ones, thank you very much for watching as always and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. Uh, as you can see, every Saturday now I'm going to have this series, uh, the street uh, vlogger or street historical vlogger just to give a little bit of a change so we don't always film in my studio but we can also film outside and show you a little bit of Palermo and other places around here. So let me know what you think about these things and whether you prefer my mask now or if you actually liked the moustache. Well, let me know in the comments below and remember the Metatron has spread his wings. Sayonara!